No, you dirty communist, you can't be a citizen. Hi, I'm Jim Hacking, immigration lawyer practicing law throughout the United States at our offices in St. Louis, San Diego, and Washington, D.C. It might not surprise you, but I studied Russian for a total of eight years. I studied it four years in high school from 1984 to 1988, and then I studied it in college from 1988 to 1992. And that was all during the fall of the Soviet Union, the CCCP, the USSR, our old, old enemy. And I found myself really coming to love and understand the Russian people and the Russian culture and language. And I really enjoyed studying the Soviet uh, system and studying how our country sort of was in the Cold War with the Soviet Union for so very long. And there are some provisions in our statutes that remain from those Cold War days that still affect the ability of people who come from communist countries to become U.S. citizens. So, uh, you know, during the Cold War, there were a lot of laws passed about um, supporting terrorist groups or um, totalitarian regimes, and certainly the communist parties in China and Russia and elsewhere, Vietnam and other places that we were at war with. And so these statutes remain. And you might be surprised to learn that the statute says that if you've been a member of the Communist Party in the last 10 years, that pretty much you're not going to be able to become a U.S. citizen. And there are some limited exceptions for what's sort of referred to as low-level membership in the Communist Party. And again, that could be in China, Vietnam, or any Cuba, anywhere else there is a communist regime. Low-level membership um, might be allowed, but anything beyond that, any kind of higher-level involvement, uh, we also saw this um, in the Iraqi regime, that there were people who had served high up in the Iraqi regime, a totalitarian regime, that was also used to keep people from being able to get their citizenship. In my experience as an immigration lawyer, I've had many clients from China and Vietnam uh, who have become U.S. citizens, and this never has really been an issue, but apparently USCIS is really pushing back on this, and they've invoked this old statute and the field manual to really slow down naturalization for people from... Uh, communist countries. I think it's unconstitutional. I think Actually, I think the problem is the statute is much more specific about pro-communist behavior than the broad interpretation that the agency has given it. In other words, USCIS has taken those statutory provisions sort of prohibiting communist rabble-rousers from becoming U.S. citizens and applied it to anybody in the Communist Party unless they had some sort of life depending reason for joining the Communist Party, if it wasn't to save your life, then pretty much they're going to slow your roll and not let you become a citizen, or so they say. That's apparently the interpretation that's been going on the last few years, according to my conversations with some of our attorneys in the office. So if you've been a member of the Communist Party, you're going to need to show that either your life depended on your membership, that it was a very low-level membership, and that um, you... Uh, quit once you found out what the regime was all about or that you um, had to do it. And it can't just be to get advancement in school or work. That's going to be a problem. So the the USCIS as an agency has taken that statute and really run with it and are using it to deny people their citizenship. So if you're going to apply for citizenship and you are a member of the Communist Party in the last 10 years, I think you probably want to talk to an immigration lawyer before you file that case. We or they are going to need to look at the level of involvement, the length of involvement, when it ended, how high up you are, why you joined, all those kinds of things. What were the conditions in your country that sort of made you join? A lot of people I know, as I mentioned, have gotten through and, uh, and been approved for citizenship, but it is a stick that they have in their arsenal sort of beat you down and to deny your citizenship. So if you were a communist, you need to think twice about applying for citizenship. You might need to wait a little bit longer, or you might just need to roll the dice and see what happens, depending on your financial situation and your emotional situation and how you want to uh, deal with that agency. If you have questions about this, give us a call, 314-961-8200. If you're thinking about hiring us, we'd be happy to work on this with you. Uh, you can also email us, info at hackingimmigrationlaw.com. We also have a lot of free resources, so if you want to find out more about this, you can join me in the uh, live show. It's a show that I do three or four times a week called the Immigration Answer Show. That's just me trying to answer people's questions uh, for two or three or four times a week, just for an hour. And uh, that show appears in our Facebook group, which is called Immigrant Home. We'd love to have you join us in Immigrant Home. We'd also love to have you um, 
join our YouTube channel. You can subscribe to that by going to Jim Hacking or Hacking Immigration Law on YouTube and subscribe to the channel. Whenever we make a new video or whenever we go live, you'll find out about it. You'll get an alert right away. And finally, we are having lots of fun on TikTok at Immigration Hacking. We'd love to have you join us there. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next time. Yeah.